I'm going to have good memories of it in the future because I had such a good time watching it. I liked the scenery, liked all the twists. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery from 2022. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but one of my favorite movies to watch are mystery movies and there haven't been too many good mystery movies recently. One of the more famous ones is the original Knives Out, and I got about an hour into it when it first came out. Something turned me off to it, and I just was like, screw this movie, I'm not gonna watch it. But since then, people have still recommended it to me because I like mystery movies. So decided to watch the original Knives Out in 4K. It was actually better than I thought. I really did enjoy it. And I went right into this one because it's the sequel. Watched it also in 4K. And I gotta say, I like them about the same. They're very solid, not perfect, but very enjoyable to me. But I was a little bit more compelled to review this Glass Onion. I'm not sure why. So I'm sure I'm gonna be jumping into the synopsis at some point. So let's just jump into the pros I have with this movie. One of the biggest pros right away was really, really nice scenery. So the Glass Onion is essentially a mansion on an island. And so most of the movie takes place on this mansion on the island. And it is just breathtaking, especially in 4K. Um, I'm somebody who likes to be taken away when I watch a movie. I want to feel like I'm in that space. And this movie really does that for me. I do think this also has like a really good cast and the acting was really good here. Now the characters are designed really not to be that likable which I was struggling with in the beginning. But if you think about the original clue, like I don't know too much about it, but I'm pretty sure nobody's really overly likable in the original clue. And I feel like this is kind of along that line, it's a typical clue type story. So nobody's really that likable, but I liked all the characters and I liked all the acting here. And I will say that I'm a pretty tough critic when it comes to comedy. And this movie wasn't funny the entire time, but there was a few times that something was genuinely funny. I think I laughed out loud a few times. So I did appreciate that thrown in. It wasn't something I was laughing the entire time, but I had some legit laughs. And I would say the most entertaining part of this movie, if you're a mystery lover, was all the twists and connected dots. Now, this movie is supposed to be kind of like indulgent for somebody who likes mystery. It's got lots of twists to it, lots of things that connect by the end, and it's just very indulgent if you like mystery like me. Along with the original Knives Out, same with this movie. This movie really just twists everything you expect to happen on its head and goes so many different places that nobody could ever guess from the beginning, which is what I wanted from this movie, so I appreciated that. I find this actually a little bit easier to watch versus the original Knives Out. I don't really know why. Uh, I, maybe it's the scenery, I, I'm not too sure, but I found it was a little bit easier to watch. I don't know if it's a better movie, I'd have to watch them both, but I found that it was easier to watch. It would be easier for me to recommend. Uh, another thing I really like about this movie is Daniel Craig. Now, Daniel Craig is probably one of the only likable people in this movie so there is at least somebody likable and I was a little bit on the fence when I saw him in that first movie because he has this really southern American accent and he normally has like a British accent so it's kind of like a really big jump and I was kind of unsure how I felt in the first movie about it but in this movie I really really like it he's really entertaining and it was definitely a high point of the movie and it was nice to have somebody that you can root for and another good thing is that he always knows more than he leads on. So I don't know, he's just a little bit above the game. I like that. It does feel like a really complete movie. The best way I would describe it is an indulgent mystery movie. It's going to give you a nice good two hours of mystery and clues and slow building. And I just loved every second of it. All right, guys, if I were to jump into the cons of this movie, it's really that no, none of the characters are really that likable. And again, maybe that I could have put this in a mixed because it's not really like a bad thing. You know, I don't need to like any of the characters, but it's hard to spend so much time with them when there's very few likable moments or likable characters. This movie is a tiny bit slow at times. It never gets to be too slow, but it's not a super, super quick movie. I did appreciate it being a little bit slower, but there was definite times where it did feel a tad slow for me. However, a lot of things that seem insignificant actually mean something at the end, so not every slow point was absolutely meaningless. I really didn't like the whole mask dance in the beginning. Uh, it seemed like everybody 
everybody was wearing masks. Everyone's doing like the, sh the elbow touch. I just really didn't want that in this movie. I know it's only for like five minutes and it's only because we just got out of COVID. So it's kind of a little bit more realistic. Like maybe if they shot this during COVID, that's how it was, I don't know. But I'm coming to this movie to escape all that BS. I don't want to deal with it. So I really wish they didn't have that in the beginning, but it doesn't really hurt it too bad for me. Honestly, guys, this is a really, really enjoyable movie. The best way I could describe it is an indulgent mystery movie. If you like mysteries, this is something to indulge in. If I had to rate it, I'd probably rate it like, like an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10. That feels about right. I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know how often I'd watch it. I would probably personally want to own it because I like mysteries and I enjoyed a lot with this movie. I'm going to have good memories of it in the future because I had such a good time watching it. I liked the scenery, liked all the twists but for you guys I would probably suggest to try at least to watch if you like mystery movies I really don't see how you wouldn't like this movie it just has everything it's very indulgent over the top mysteries on top of mysteries on top of mysteries which you should like as a mystery lover so anyways guys that's been my review of glass onion should I review the original knives out I'd be very interested to see have you seen knives out or this movie tell me down below anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully I'm having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace